Hey everyone, how are you today? I want to review with you how to use switches and how to use the switches when you are in sound touch. Um, so let's begin. Hopefully you have your switches, which we call jelly bean switches, and then you should have your switch to scan box. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so this is my setup. I have my switches. You should have three. You could use two. You could use one, depending on what what level we're, we're at. But for now, I'm just going to show you what I have. And as you can see, they're textually different. So this one has bumps on it. I just cut out a sheet of um, my kitchen towel and just uh, glued that on here. And then I just left one blank, just so they feel different. And what these will do is one will move forward, one can move backward, and one can be the select button. So for this um, lesson today, you want to make sure, like what we had discussed in previous videos, make sure you go to your um, settings and make sure your switch to scan is on. So remember, I have mine that says O-A-B-B, and I'm gonna look at it here on my settings, on my Bluetooth settings. Oh, there we go. My Bluetooth settings, and mine is selected, and I have connect. Sometimes you might turn it off and give it like a few seconds and then turn it back on so that you can see it pop up, okay? So mine is connected. And what I want to do next is, I encourage you to do this as well. I have built a um, folder. Here, let me move my camera here. I have built a folder for um, my switches. So I have a folder that has my quick access. And those are the only, oh, those are the only apps that will work with my switch access. So those right there. And then I have also uh, made a folder for all my voiceover apps. I don't know if you could see it. They're right there, all my voiceover apps. I'm gonna select it. And there they are. So all these apps work with your switches and your voiceover. Mm -hmm. And what I did is I made sure I titled it voiceover mode four, and I'll explain that to you right now. Okay, so why I did that is your switch to scan. You will always need, for all of these apps, you will always need your switch to scan on the mode, so right hand side, it says mode. You need that to say four. There's five, one, You'll make sure it goes all the way to four, and that's where you want to have it, four. If this light is on, like that, on the quick, quick access, your apps here will not work. If your light is green, you make sure you turn that off. You do not want it to be green. You just focus on this mode and make sure it says four. So once you have done that, you take a switch, plug in like that, and you're going to use, at the top, it, we have numbers. It's one, two, three, and four, and there's plugins back there. Mama. So I'm going to use, oh, hold on, Victoria. My, my daughter is here um, interrupting my video. Let me help her real quick. Okay, sorry about that. She is gone so anyway what you're gonna do this switch you're gonna you're gonna make sure it's on three and this will be your select switch okay so number three is select you're gonna grab another switch and you're gonna place it on number one this is gonna be your move forward like forward and then select and for now we're gonna keep it there we're just gonna use forward and select okay Let's see if these work. Here we go. My goodness, my phone is buzzing. So I'm gonna use Sound Touch for this. 
And don't forget, remember it said voiceover, and on previous videos I've showed you how to turn on voiceover by hitting your home button three times really fast. And remember, we set this up in accessibility on the shortcut is why we have it on here. So you want to make sure voiceover is on. Voiceover on. Sound touch. She. Button. Okay, so we might say, okay, let's see if we can find the horse. Let's look for the horse. So we're going to use switch one to move forward. Duh. Button. Horse. Button. Oh, you found the horse. Let's select it. And your button three is your select. Horse. Close item. Button. Let me see if I can, there we go. Okay, so you might have to hit select for her or, or him and say, okay, hit select again. And you tell him or her, it's on your right hand side or it's on your left hand side. Close so they hit select again. And then we're gonna say, ooh, let's see if we can find the dog. You ready? Let's find the dog. Oh, someone's at the door. Let me just check who that is. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. So what I might say is, oh, let's find the dog. You ready? Let's see if you can find the dog. Listen, listen. You can turn up the volume if it's not loud enough. Dog button. Oh, you found him. Let's see. Let's hear what the dog says. You ready? Here we go. And you would have this wizard select, which is your switch three. Dog, close item, button. Oh my gosh, listen to that doggy. Do you have a dog at home? In order to go back, you could manually hit that twice or you can just hit your select button. And it takes you right back. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, if you want a third button, we could also do a third button. And let me show you how this works. I'm going to put this third button on my switch two. So I have currently one, two, and three. And my one goes forward, my two is going to go backwards, and my three is going to select. Okay. So let me see if this works. So let's see if we can find the cow. You ready? Let's find the cow. Horse, frog, bu dog, button, kid, button, cow, rooster, button. Oh, I think we skipped the cow. Let's go back one. And you would let them know that it's in the middle. Cow, button. There it is. So yes, this will be your back button. Kid, dog, frog, dog. Kid, this is button. your forward button. Cow, rooster, goat, button. Let's go back to cow. Rooster, cow, button. And this is your select. Cow, close item, button. And to close it, you would have to hit your select again. Close item, she, button. And typically it takes you right back to the top. But what's really nice is down here you can... Um, Musical Some kids really like the music Musical instruments. Instru Musical instruments. And don't forget, you cannot, you have to hit it two times fast to select an item. Vehicles. Because if it, you only Buttons. hit it once, it's not going to do anything. Life. Musical instrument. Vehicles. Vehicles. It has to be two times. Musical, instru Musical instruments. Oh, let's see what instruments we have here. Trumpet. Button. You ready? Let's move forward and listen. Accordion. Button, card, button, piano, button, flute, button, pipe organ, button, violin, button. Ooh, let's listen to the violin. Or should we listen to the piano? Let's go back and listen to the piano. Pipe organ, but flute, button, piano, button. Let's select. Piano, close item, button. And don't forget to close, you hit select again. Close eye trumpet. 
button. And then it takes you all the way to the top again, and then you can scroll. Anyway, that's how um, your switch to scan works with your switches. Don't forget that when you work on Sound Touch, you have to use this switch to scan, and it has to be Bluetooth to your device, and your mode has to be on four. Your switch one will move forward, your switch two will move backwards, and your switch three will select. If you have a green light, when you're trying to use this app, it will not work. Make sure your green light is off. And again, remember there's no off or on button. It's just, you just charge it. You make sure it's charged every night or every other day or something. It holds charge pretty well. And then these are your switch um, compartments here or switch where you collect or connect your switches. But there's no off button, okay? Just so you um, don't get confused. Anyway, that is how, this is how you use your switch to scan with your um, switches to access Sound Touch. I hope you like it and have fun playing. See you later, bye.